Happy Memorial Day Monday, everyone. Uh, I hope you've had a wonderful weekend. Uh, and we, Kent and I, are going to have a bit of an indoor New York City style picnic for the holiday today. Um, making burgers and making uh, big beans. And what I'm gonna make for you now is my potato salad. Now, I understand. Potato salad is a very personal choice as far as like how you make it, which kind you like. I grew up on um, a couple different kinds, but my personal favorite is not the yellow one with the eggs in it. It is more of the red skinned potato one, which is what I'm gonna make for you today. So if you don't like this version, stop this video right now and you eat your potato salad, but this is how I'm making it today. Um, okay. So this is a mayonnaise based, of course, sauce for this. So I already have measured out, this is a two cup measure that Kent got me for Christmas. It comes in handy when um, you have, you know, more than one cup's worth of things to measure. But anyway, I just have regular old mayo in here. However, I do like to cut the mayo with sour cream. I like the tang, I like kind of uh, the texture of the sour cream with the mayo rather than just having mayo. So. This is a cup and a half, two cup measure. All I have to do is now add a half a cup of sour cream to kind of bring this up to a full two cups of this. So just a little bit more. Okay, we'll call that good. I'm gonna whisk this all together and then put it in with my potatoes and everything. So we have all of our main part of our dressing here. Stick that in there. Great, wonderful. Getting rid of that. Next, for a little zing, Dijon mustard. Um, I know that the egg and uh, yellow colored potato salad has like yellow mustard in it, but I sort of like the, the flavor of Dijon. So this is, depends on your taste. I start with about three tablespoons of this. I might add more later after I taste this because I like to make sure everything is perfectly flavored for me before I put it into the potatoes. So next is apple cider vinegar. We're gonna do two sort of like sour briny elements in this. First of all, apple cider vinegar, we're just gonna do one tablespoon of this. We might add more if we want a little bit more tang in this. And then sort of my secret ingredient is sweet gherkin pickle juice. Not, I don't, you know, some people use relish in there and that's delicious, but I'm just gonna use the juice. So one tablespoon of this to start. Might add more later, who knows? And then the rest of this is just seasoning. So I like it to be a little bit sweet. So I'm just going to add one teaspoon of just regular granulated white sugar. And then I'm gonna add about a half a teaspoon of salt. Um, it depends on your mayonnaise, truly. Um, sometimes that is very salty, so you don't need a lot of salt in this. So that is what we're gonna start with. I'm just gonna whisk this together. Try not to spill this too much with my little baby whisk that Kent got me for the holidays. Again, he gets me wonderful kitchen gadgets. Uh-oh, we're spilling. Oh. I know. Maybe I should have started with this to mix first. <laughs> Just so the liquid parts mix in. Then we can really get in there with the whisk. So as you can see, this is a very creamy, uh, thicker dressing. And we want it this way because we are going to put it on hot potatoes. Um, well warm potatoes, they're not like hot, hot. Um, so it will thin out a little bit and mix in with the potato starch, uh, which kind of gives it, I think, a very lovely texture when all is said and done. Okay, I'm gonna try this now. I think it can use more pickle juice. I really, really enjoy the flavor of that it is, you know, it's just like this ready to go ingredient. I put it in my deviled egg uh, filling. I just use it in place of pickle relish. 
All right, I'm gonna give it one last taste. Boom, great, wonderful. That is the dressing. Let's talk potatoes. So I've already cooked these. I have them hanging out in my colander under this little towel. Um, like I mentioned before, red skin potatoes. I slice them, cut them into, I don't know, bite-sized pieces, about that size. I try to get them all the same size so they cook evenly. I boiled them in salted water with a bay leaf just for added flavor, uh, just until they are fork tender. You don't wanna take this all the way to mashed potato state so that they're like falling apart. Um, but anyway, I just let them drain in this colander. I stuck a towel over it. They've been sitting here. These are still warm, which is what you want because warm potatoes will absorb all the flavors in the dressing, which will be great. So this goes into a large pot. This is about four pounds. Or so uh, this amount of dressing supports up to, I, I think five pounds of tomatoes, but it's just Kent and I eating. So let's not get too, too crazy here. All right, dressing first. I'm not going to use all of this. I'm gonna add part of it and see where I get to. All right, so here we go. Let's see what this does for us. Now, these potatoes are tender, so we're not gonna just come in here and start bashing them up. We're gonna gently fold this in. I think that's looking pretty good for now. We have other mix-ins that we're gonna add to this. So we can always add more dressing. We cannot take it away, unfortunately. So mix-ins. I like finely diced. You can see how tiny this is. That's how I like it. Finely diced red onion. That's about a medium onion's worth and then four stalks of celery, also finely diced, so. Your mom would be so proud of that celery. I know that's, well, she might like it even a little bit finer than this, honestly, for the <laughs> Thanksgiving stuffing. Um, I become an expert celery mincer over the years. If you've ever seen any of my Thanksgiving time social media posts. Um, and then, Herb of choice, it is up to you. A lot of times I will use parsley. Our store, for whatever reason, did not have fresh parsley. So I'm using dill, chopped up dill. And dill's obviously a lot stronger of a flavor, so I'm gonna start with maybe, I don't know, that was like a quarter cup, and we will see where we get to if we need more. All right, again, we're going to fold, fold, fold all of this in and I really enjoy texturally the crunch of the onion and the celery in this. I think we need more dressing. Again, you can always add more, but you can't take it away. You don't want it to be soupy, but the potatoes will absorb some of this liquid. So you want to have enough here so that's gonna be creamy and not dry when all is said and done. Okay. And as you keep stirring this, some of the potato starch, like I said, will mix in with the mayonnaise mixture and it gives us a lovely texture. Um, I also like the skins on. Uh, you can totally peel this if you want. You could also make it with another type of potato. Um, I would say probably peel like a russet potato or something because those skins are super tough, but these red skin potato skins are nice and thin. All right, I'm gonna give this a little taste just to see where we're at with the situation. Mmm, that's really good. Ooh, that's celery, I love it. Okay. This is good to go. I think it has enough dill. If it needs more, I'll add some, but this goes into the fridge. You want it in there at least an hour. Keep stirring it from time to time, though I think really four hours is best so the flavors really meld the onion, the celery, and the dill get into the potatoes. Anyway, that is my potato salad. Um, so however you're celebrating, whatever you're eating, I hope you have a wonderful holiday, everybody. Stay safe.